Thanks Trey for letting me share my story with your audience. Still kind of crazy for me to be on your channel as I actually did watch tons of your videos during my anxiety days. So I'll kind of jump right in and tell you my story and how I managed to overcome anxiety. If you are someone who has dealt with anxiety for some time now, I'm sure the following might sound very familiar. Every single day feels like a struggle. It isn't just the panic attacks that are ruining your days, but it is this constant feeling of mental and physical exhaustion that feels so soul crushing. During my five long years dealing with health anxiety, I was completely depleted of any energy. Even the simplest tasks were too much for me to handle, and on top of that my entire body felt uncomfortable. Every morning it felt like I was waking up with a bad hangover, and the only thing I wanted to do was crawl back into bed and rest. Even if I did just that, it never really changed anything. I didn't feel any better. I can tell you now that managing this feeling was probably the hardest thing I did, but it was the thing that has ultimately led me to full recovery. I always believe that the first step to even start the recovery process is to truly understand what and why something is happening to you. There are many reasons why so many of us with anxiety issues feel like this, but the most common one has to be our body's reaction towards stress. Our constant anxiety about our physical health will elevate our day-to-day -day or general stress levels. We are going on with our days extremely tensed up both physically and mentally. In a state like this, our ancient fight or flight response is constantly up and running. And if it isn't, it doesn't take much additional stress so that it kicks in. And once it does, your body tenses up, your heart pumps hard and fast in order to supply your muscles with sufficient blood, and your mind goes into overdrive, soaking in as much information from your surroundings as possible in order to locate a threat. So you can imagine that being in this state basically all day, every day, will drain you from any energy reserves you might have. Here we are, ready for action, wanting to flee or fight from something, that isn't really there. But our mind is certain that there is something dangerous happening, and so we start to misinterpret the physical symptoms we are experiencing as the source of danger. The pounding heart is often seen as a sign of a heart disease, numbness, maybe a stroke, and so on. We become so obsessed over these sensations that nothing else around us matters any longer. I was so preoccupied with how I was feeling that I couldn't shift my focus to anything else. This obsession only further accelerated my anxiety and depleted my energy. We are basically carrying around a bag of unlimited supply of stress. Just imagine how much energy being this preoccupied with something so negative costs. I truly believe that one of the main reasons why I felt so drained was that my anxiety took away so much of the joy in my life. There wasn't a single moment I could get away from it, and this loomed over my life like a big dark shadow. When I got out of bed, the first thoughts were, like how the hell am I going to survive yet another day? How bad will my anxiety be? And basically just praying that this will all stop soon. Being so negative all the time will of course rid you of all your ambitions, your drive, social life, and joy altogether. And who can be motivated and strive in a situation like this? On top of it all, of course, the mixture of being physically uncomfortable from muscle tension and the uncontrollable racing thoughts can make it close to impossible to get proper rest. It's just one gigantic vicious cycle. Unfortunately, I can't give you a single tip or task that would make all this go away. Recovery in general is one big project that you will need to work on. And something that was an eye-opener for me was that anxiety recovery is an accumulation of many small and large changes in your life that will ultimately make you a better and stronger person. Per day, we face tens of thousands of decisions, and our goal is to train our brains to consciously make the right ones. Every decision we take will either help us in recovery or make it worse, or at least we remain stagnant. Naturally, we will always try to find the easiest way out, which in the long run normally makes things worse. Something that I have learned is that you cannot recover from anxiety by finding reassurance. Sure, it's an important and necessary step to get the ball rolling, but there has to come that point in your life at which you will take action. Trust me on this one, there will never be a doctor, a test, that will tell you that it's just anxiety and then somehow you will just be able to move on and be anxiety free. It isn't the way anxiety works. Anxiety recovery isn't something that will happen to you, but you will need to work towards it. So get that initial reassurance from a professional and perhaps a second or third opinion, but then focus on the important recovery aspects. You cannot wait for that one day where everything seems to be coming together and you are ready and have the motivation to take action. Acknowledge that the way you're feeling now is your starting point and start working from there.
There are three things that I focused on that I truly believe helped me to finally feel better and rested. The first one was to do my best to get my body into a relaxed state. Especially getting rid of the excruciating muscle tension that caused me so much discomfort and kept me up for nights in a row. To do this, I made sure to drink plenty of water throughout the day, stretch my muscles whenever I could, and most importantly, signed up at the gym and started strengthening my muscles. Exercising and strengthening your body truly works wonders. And I really, really want all of you to implement a workout routine that you enjoy and will stick to. Your body and mind are strongly connected, so releasing physical tension will ease your anxiety. A happy body is a happy mind. The second part that I focused on was learning all I could about my anxiety disorder and how anxiety managed to make me feel the way I did. Really understanding the processes and reasons behind all the symptoms I worried about so much helped me ease my mind and was crucial to get my anxiety levels lowered. And the last but probably the most important step to lowering my anxiety was accepting that recovery will take time and that the current state I was in is who I am right now. I set my mind to see the situation as a big project that I'm working on. Every positive habit I implemented, every day without a panic attack, will build me up and show me that I'm going in the right direction. This created an inner drive for success and kept me going. Thank you so much for watching. And thank you, Trey, for letting me share my story with your amazing subscribers. Amazing video, a lot of knowledge, a lot of information there. That's what his channel is all about. Please go subscribe down in the description, first pin comment, his channel name. Let him know. Go comment on one of his videos and let him know that I sent you. Um, thanks, dude, once again, Tristan, for being a part of this channel today and providing me with a video. Also, guys, it's good to uh, you know find other resources, to find other channels that talk about anxiety. It helps you get a different perspective. Please go subscribe to him if you call yourself a fan of mine. I love you guys. Until next time, keep fighting.